Hello, everybody, and it's Thursday with Arnie. I'm Reggie Grant. I'm Arnie Castell. Welcome to the Exceptional Life version of Thursday with Arnie. Arnie, give them a little background. These are new people. They don't know who you are, what you're doing, and all that kind of good stuff. Well, right now, um, just get oh, Come on. Why are you talking so low? You never talk that low. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just uh, right now. Um, like you're a regular I'm, person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting to be older in my years, but I'm still having a lot of fun, and I'm doing some artwork. And doing some artwork. He has world-class art. You can find it at ArnieCastell.com, 150 or something like crazy number paintings. Yeah. And we're going to show you when he just finished. Oh, I'm, I'm thrilled at that. And the reason I it's here now is I just wanted – to show a certain amount of appreciation I have for this man. He made a comment that he did like it, and so I made a print of it. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just maintaining, and the more I think about it, the more I read books on it, how to really be happy. And it, it, it really is stemming from here. I was just reading something. I was complaining to myself a little bit. I just- Whining! Yeah, I, I just got, I just got uh, uh, a, an email back from the doctor uh, that in about three months, I'm probably going to have my other knee replaced. And I'm st was starting to get into a little bit of a dump. That was this morning. Then I saw a news article about a basketball player, Sean Bradley. Sean Bradley was involved in a bicycle accident, and he's paralyzed. And he was talking about committing suicide. And then I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. I'm complaining about a knee opera, uh, a knee surgery which is going to make me walk without pain. Yeah, there's downtime involved. Well, it doesn't work like that. You have to, you can't be sad. And especially when you have someone who's paralyzed. And there are so many little tricks that we can do. Self affirmations are so strong to ourselves. You are loved. You are good. You deserve what you're trying to achieve, whether it be the abundance of wealth, whether it be the abundance of, of a business. You deserve that. You totally deserve that. And that's what you have to maintain. And it's easier to maintain it. Just say it. Write it. Some people write down on post-its. You know, I'm good. I'm great. I deserve this. But you do. You totally do. And that's pretty much what a lot of these things are realistically all about. I read an interesting uh, chapter in a uh, book just the other day, and it was about a woman who had to walk all these miles to get water. So she brought these two clay pots. She filled them up with water and walked back. Well, one of the clay pots had a crack in it and she can only get half the water well when she the, the clay pot realizes this it's sad it's feeling it's not good enough and it's it's because it's damaged well guess what she talked to the pot and she said do you know you are doing more than great stuff every day i have this long walk and walk back and it's lined with such a beautiful array of flowers on both sides of the path. You know why? Because the, the water spills out from the pot. So learn from that. You might have a crack somewhere, but you're still more valuable and your uniqueness in this universe. I know that it sounds corny, but do it. You don't have anything to lose except your self doubts except your negative activity, your negative mind. And that's, you utilize this in every aspect of your life. For me, I trained it by being a professional athlete. So it was, for me, just something great. And that's what I do. That is what I do. And I love to be part of that. I totally love to be part of that. And, you know, and I'll tell you what, and because of all good vibes and just putting yourself out there, that's how I got to meet this young man. Knucklehead Magoo. <laughs> yeah, I know you're talking we, about me. No, no, no. <laughs> we all have our moments where we go discombobulated 
we don't do the right thing, we feel bad, we get a little bit disconcerted. It's all about working through it. It's okay to make mistakes. Failure is part of the process and part of the steps to success. Embrace the process. You know, it's interesting, Reggie. I look at myself, when I make a choice, you know, I have certain choices to make. Say I, I have to walk somewhere and I'm not really sure where I'm going. So I walk and I make the choice to move straight. And all of a sudden I come to a wall. Well, guess what? Now I have to change it. But at the time I made that first decision, that was the correct decision. Now I have to make a decision to go right or left. I make a decision. If I come to an obstacle, guess what? I now have to make another choice. It's a matter of as your life progresses, we have these choices that we have to make. And you know something? If you look at the choice as a negative thing, guess what? It is a negative thing. If you look at the choice as something to be good and 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 deal with, it will work like that. It will totally work like that. Embrace the process. Enjoy the journey. Living an exceptional life doesn't mean life is perfect. There's challenges. Life happens. It's not a matter of whether you have issues, problems, concerns, road bumps, obstacles. It's how you handle it. Right? You know, and we, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Arnie, but you know, even I get discombobulated. I have no sense. I have no tact or very little tact. I tell the truth, but also gets me in trouble and people don't like it. And 99% of the time, I am a positive, upbeat person. But sometimes people come into your life and they want to bring negative energy and boo boo. And I go left, I go totally ballistic. And, you know, rarely do I regret that. I try to mitigate the process, but sometimes people deserve that. And I try to keep all the negative energy and negative people out of my life. And that's why I have the ability or I, I live an exceptional life because I live in my own lane. I treat everybody with dignity and respect until you don't deserve it. And then I just make sure that, you know, we have as few interactions as possible. So find somebody to elevate, ele put this up in a room, like this room today, people are elevating me and hopefully I elevate somebody else and, and you know, make positive things happen along your life. Smell the roses, tell somebody I love them as you embrace and enjoy your journey. It's not just the destination, it's your journey. That's the exceptional life, is the journey. And as Reggie just said, it's not all lined with a bed of roses, <laughs> but you could feel like it is because you can look at it. You could see weeds, you can, and feel that they are the roses because those weeds might be doing something else. Maybe they're keeping away bugs. I don't know, but whatever it is, everything is there for a reason. And you're here in the universe for a reason and you're unique and keep knowing that you are unique. And that's what it really is boils down to right embracing the process embracing the journey enjoying your challenges and again i love the challenge right life happens it's okay you know you, you get a busted tire you know you get old you have to at the bank whatever you you're gonna work through it find a way to work through it embrace the process smell the rosies appreciate all of those positive things that you have going on you have a place to live I can think. I'm good. So, so, <laughs> he just hit it right in, in one sentence. Embrace it. Embrace it. You know, and it's so important. You know, once more, back to my knee. I could really feel sorry for myself. Or I could say, guess what? I get the knee. I'm going to have a new knee. Who knows? I might sign another baseball. <laughs> <laughs> get some of that real money. Yeah, but I was throwing the other day. My fastball would not have gotten a speeding ticket. So it's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, we thank everybody on the, on the journey with us today. And hopefully we had some tidbit of information among all those speakers that you can subtract or extract from that that you can apply to your life. You don't have to live anybody else's life. You don't have to follow anybody else's journey. You just take from other people, add that thing that element that you can add to your life that makes you a better person that empowers you and elevates you 
That's what it's in. I don't even think I can add to that. That's exactly what it's all about. And again, we do a weekly podcast. It's called First Days with Arnie. I'm Reginald Grant. You can find me at ReginaldGrant.com. I'm Arnie Costell. You can find me at ArnieCostell.com. And as Reggie was saying, my artwork, you could see it at Arnie Costell on Instagram. One word. And we'll be together again in the whole series of events we're having the Super Bowl week. We have the Athletes um, Health and Wellness Summit, but it'll be back here at the same location. Cigars Network and Football will be here as well. That's Monday, February 7th. Tuesday the 8th, Elevating Women. They're honoring the first female coach in the NFL, and that's by Pro Speak. Wednesday, Keith, Chris Broussard of ESPN and Dr. Joseph Bryant will be hosting an event, which will be a VIP reception here in Los Angeles. Wednesday, and then Thursday, we have Athletes at Art. We'll be displaying Arnie's Art, Ed White, the former NFL player, Jeffrey Stevens, the former NFL player, Super Bowl champion, and Kevin Lynch, the world-class uh, photographer, and that'll be a Thursday, the 10th of February. So February, we'll have a whole another week of events and activities. If you're in L.A., if you're coming for the Super Bowl, then come and join us. If you're not, some of that stuff will be online. Again, you can find a lot of it at ESIPitch.com. That's E-S-I-P-I-T-C-H.com. And that has the schedule on there and all of our activities going on. Now, look at some of this art. This Arnie, Arnie painted this. This right, is makes called Arnie's Bench. Challenge. This is Arnie's Bench. And uh, I have fun when I do this. Reggie said he saw it. He liked it. And guess what, Reggie? This is yours. Thank you so much, Arnie. And, I appreciate it. It's just, if you look at the writing, it says Costell throws no hitter. And I'm getting a, a lot of, of uh, people who are laughing at that. I just... I love doing it. Painting is a time machine for me. It takes me back to some other era, some other time. It doesn't even have to be that I was there. It's a journey for me. That's part of my life's journey is painting. And I love it. Thank you so much. I'm Reginald Grant. I'm Arnie Castell. Appreciate you guys. Day. Every Thursday we do the podcast. Thursday with Arnie is online on Anchor and all that stuff. But we'll... Connect the dots and hope you have a great day. One more second, you know, we're getting to the end of our program, 2 o'clock here. We have another presentation for you, and we'll be right back.